Am I the A for telling my always late friends an earlier time so they'd be on time? So I, 32 female, have been friends with this group of people, 30, 31, 32 female, since high school. I loved them all to death. But for Pete's sake, on a cruise ship, when you plan something, they are always consistently late. Every time. And it drives me nuts. One year, they almost made us miss our flight home. And they always say they forgot the time or thought they had more and just goofed around. It has gotten to the point where I will meet them because I refuse to get caught in the drama. Last year, I left on my own accord to the airport because they were all passed out and would not wake up. They missed the checkout and had to pay for an extra day. Then they barely made it to the airport in time for their flights. Apparently, I'm pushy for ensuring we leave at a certain time, considering traffic, possible accidents or delays, and even looking up shortcuts in case. Throughout the years, sharing a ride with them has almost made me late to work before. Lesson learned. So now I take an extra day off just in case. Our vacations themselves are fun and easygoing. So this vacation was pretty smooth up until the end. We all decided to choose a night where we would plan all the events. Mine was Friday. It was a fairly relaxed day. I scheduled a petty for 9.30 a.m. and told them that it was at 8.45. They showed up at 9.15 and were surprised we got in so quickly. I reserved a table for us for lunch at 1 p.m. I told them to be there at 12.30. They arrived at 12.52 with the same reaction. That night, I had reserved us a table at a really nice dining establishment for 7.30, and I told them 6.45. They arrived at 7.10 p.m. It was a great night. Sunday, we were going home. I said my goodbyes, checked out of my hotel room, and took my separate Uber to the airport for my 2 p.m. flight home. I got home around 8 and turned on my phone to the equivalent of an assault on my group chat. Apparently, they had left late again, and one of them missed their flight. They were arguing about it. I told my roomie what was going on and what I did, and she said that was rude of me to manipulate their time like that. She knows one of the girls and told her what I did, and now all the girls are mad at me. My Friday scheduling had absolutely nothing to do with one missing their flight. Am I the a-ho? Now for the top comments. If I were you, I would say I'm too grown for this and drop each and every one of them. They seem exhausting to be around, not the A. It might be the last trip for a long time. We're all getting up there in age. One of the girls wants to try to have a baby here soon. The other is planning a wedding and will probably get pregnant shortly after. And the other is a workaholic like myself. I've had friends like this, and they're infuriating. I have a theory that people are more likely to act like this if there is someone in charge. For example, a mature, functioning adult. Otherwise, they would regularly lose thousands of dollars in missed flights and reservations. So they are simultaneously relying on you to parent them and resentful that you have to treat them like children. It's a no-win situation for you. And incidentally, my husband is like this, but in a very different way. He comes from a culture where time is relative and no one cares if you're two hours late. I am exactly the opposite. So I do what you do. Tell him we need to leave the house 30 minutes before we actually need to leave the house to be on time. The difference is that he appreciates the nudge and is very sweet about it. Your 30-something friends sound toxic, immature, and ungrateful. You said you love them all to death, but do they love you enough not to mistreat you? You might want to rethink future travel with them.
We all get along, other than the lateness or if they call me pushy for wanting to be on time. After COVID, I decided to go my own way to avoid being at their mercy. I cannot do it anymore, for my own sake. Not the A. You planned accordingly, and everyone had a great time. But good lord, what a hassle this crew is. Even your roommate. My roomie thinks I should just go with the flow and roll with the punches. <laughs> but consistently late? Sorry, I'm not an a-hole for bowing out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.